Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and welcome to this final nugget in our little BCP mini series. And this nugget is focused on ensuring that there's maintenance and testing of the business continuity plan to ensure that it remains real and valid. And validating the maintenance and testing of the BCP really is as straightforward as it sounds. First, we need to review that the incident management plan exists. We've already really done that. That was our last nugget. Then we need to validate that it's being maintained. When was the last time it looked at it? Doesn't necessarily mean it has to be changed because it may still be valid. It may have been written five years ago. This very offline, non-technology dependent strategy for running payroll that we discussed in the previous nugget, it may have great shelf life and it may last for five, six, ten years without single maintenance. But the key is on a regular basis, I'm going to say every six to 12 months, and this is my opinion, this is not a hard number you're going to be tested for in your exam, but every six to 12 months, as an auditor, you need to go in and validate that there is some evidence that someone has opened the BCP for payroll and validate it that it still makes sense. Validate it that the methods we're using for downloading that list of employees to the stores is still functional. And consistent with the fact that we need to validate that somebody is still looking at the plan, we also need to validate that somebody is testing it. Now, in the case of the payroll system, the test would be as simple as going to a random number of stores and validating that the list exists and that somebody in the store understands what this list is and that it can be executed. And part of it is validating that somebody knows how to run the manual procedures. A totally different story, and this actually is from my wife's background, not my own. She was a controller in a hotel. And we all know that hotels are 100% automated now, and you check in and room inventory, and everything is all on computers. But what happens when the computer's down? Can they check customers in and so on and so on and so on? And yes, this hotel chain at least has a manual process where they again, on a regular basis, they take an offline copy of the room inventory and an offline copy of all of the pending reservations. And someone should be able to check a customer in to a vacant room based on those manual procedures. When my wife executed her BCP test, she found out that most of the old staff had been around for a long period of time who actually worked pre-automation, were able to use the manual processes and perform the actions to check a guest in offline. Most of the new staff who had only been there since automation literally stumbled very hard trying to check customer in offline. So as a result of her testing, she discovered there were manual procedures. The process worked great. The reports were generated, they were stored in a safe place, et cetera, et cetera, but the actual staff didn't understand those HR policies that we talked about two nuggets ago to execute under the BCP plan. So validate that it's maintained and validate that it's tested. And when you have audit results, validate that the audit results have been acted upon and in fact, the issues have been resolved. And that concludes this discussion on maintenance and testing of the BCP. And that also concludes this series of nuggets focused on the governance and management of IT knowledge domain. Stay tuned. We're going to move into the next domain, which is information systems acquisition, development, and implementation. I hope this nugget has been informative for you, 
and thank you very much for viewing.